What's up everyone, my name is Alex. I'm one of the co-founders of myinvestingclub.com and I wanna let you guys know about something special we're doing for our viewers on YouTube. So the most common question we get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did is we created a free two hour mentorship course for the brand new trader. It's gonna be available at myinvestingclub.co. The link is gonna be right here. This is a free webinar that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they start. I also wanna let you guys know about something that's very unique to MIC. So if you have any questions about trading or you're curious about trading or you don't know if MIC is the right fit for you, now you can text our head mentor, Tosh, whose number is gonna be right here, and he'll answer all the questions that you have in less than 24 hours. Thank you and enjoy the video. Good morning, guys. Um, it's Tom Diesel here. Um, Hope you guys had a great weekend today i'm just gonna go over a quick uh, you know video um discussing really about how to add to the winner and uh, also um being open-minded while you know trading uh, so I'm, I'm just gonna keep this uh you know really short and sweet uh, because i think most of this uh i've been go over uh with uh, aloha uh, on his webinar on Thursday so uh, I'm just uh, gonna basically do my trade recap on that that's all on Friday um, I really did focus on uh, BA only uh, at the open it was kind of my main priority uh, to trade on that because uh, it was like a first red day and uh, I believe uh, yeah the red uh, was uh, 180 yeah this previous close so I was basically aiming to you know risk over this level in the pre-market but uh, as soon as uh, it tanks right I have here the executions yeah I, I shot it some at 173 uh, the reason is that why because uh, you know I had a big wash here as you can see here this uh, broke the support right so you know uh, in the pre-market so that's why I went ahead and you know showed it some up up right here yeah it doesn't show here on trade view um, they don't show in pre-market trading so I basically showed it some here and then uh, quickly cover the wash had open and uh, once it broke this level it gave me you know this level uh, it gave me you know pretty big confidence uh, so that's why I shot it right back uh, the pops basically you know just risking over this view app it, it was this one right here I think I shot it this pop and once it couldn't break the view app I, you know I decided to add a little bit more here and this is really the confirmation for me to add more size but you know <laughs> I, I sh should have stuck to my plan and um, you know I, I, I drew a line it was like 158 on the pivot but you know this happens uh, you know the exit uh, I mean it will never be you know perfect anyway you know and that's something I need to work on every day for myself as well like try to focus more on my my process and, uh, and, and not a PL. and at this point it was up really nicely I, I look at the PL and say oh my shit man I need to cover some and I ended up cover everything <laughs> so um, I really need to work on that uh, this is something that I'm still struggling uh, every day but you know right after being missed that uh, much uh, it was like almost 10 points here but it doesn't mean that I can chase down here right so I didn't chase at all but I was waiting for a pop uh, into the I think it was into view app as well yeah uh, this one right here 183 and uh, that was basically my uh, that uh, I was waiting for and right after that uh, you know I got a, a quick uh, exit I waited I was uh, patiently waiting uh, for for the pop and you know I got some and you know cover right on the dip and be done with it and uh, so that was a BA trade and the one that I really want to talk about today is BKY BKYI yeah this is the one like in the morning I have absolutely no interest in shorting that uh, as you can see here yeah I have a chart here yeah as you can see in the morning I have no interest uh, shorting this it was like really strong uh, you know uh, it was like holding very well the the, the trend is, is is really intact in the morning um, 
you know they held very well in overview app and uh, you know and so i had absolutely no reason shorting this in the pre-market i mean you could scout the channel here but 2.4 i think to like uh, 2.1 you know pop here you're gonna short and you know like basically channeling that channel yeah but if that's something you 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 know you've been good at and you, you you could do that as well but uh the trade for me was when uh, it's like approaching uh zombie stock did kind of you know dip if you have i saw like 180 was the support right here so i mean that's why i long some here but basically risking just like uh, 1.7 like 10 cents i quickly you know sell some off right here and then when it's like grinding higher i added more so it's some right here and but when it broke this line this uh you know a two and I think it was reclaim view app right here so it gave me the con uh, you know more confidence uh, to put more size on and you know my goal was to uh, sell into this uh, you know high and it, you know it popped back there and hit me perfectly and you know of course I end up mi missing uh, you know quite a bit uh, you know on the move like that but you never know right I had a plan and you know it hit, hits my target and I'm pretty happy with that so um, there's, there's really nothing for me to um, regret about this trade I did I executed you know perfectly the way that I wanted to, you know uh, for for it to be and uh so basically after that zombie you know zombie time i think it was around here it's like it was like perfect right you can use that to your advantage um so that's uh really something i, I really want to share here because you need to have you know an, an open-minded uh, regarding the trade uh, you know uh, trend is your friend right trend is still intact why the hell are you shorting i mean if you short and yes you could make money out of uh, you know um, the the channel trading you know this line to this line yeah that's fine but you have to see like you know the trend is still intact you have to be careful on that I mean you know uh, I think the proper risk management is uh, is something that you need to to have on on the on this type of, of play and you have to be okay with being wrong right if you shorting this uh, you know that uh, you know you know likely high chance is gonna pop back or like pop high here it's like all here is like people covering like shorting down down this low and then you know they're panicking covering into this high and so that that was my thesis right my thesis was here probably gonna trap more people and probably they're gonna end up like uh, covering everything here yeah but i I missed some here but uh you know that was my thesis and you know it worked very well so I'm happy with that but you know if wrong you know I have my starter here and I would stop out at 1.7 you know and be done with it so there's really uh, um, it's really about uh, how to manage your risk management that's all I don't know if the stock is gonna pop or not but you know I just know that trend is still you know intact trend is my friend I'm gonna follow the trend until it proven you know it proves me otherwise and in this case in the afternoon right after this line broke it gave me the confirmation right like the back size is, is really in now and the death line you know is something we teach in MIC this is the one all right so that's why uh, as soon as it broke this you know I FOMO and got some here pop back uh, uh, to this 180 line I mean my risk was like a little bit over I think 183 something like that yeah this is was the line and my risk was over like 1.8 something it was like 10 cents and like I got feel some here 177 is like 187 or like the max I would go to maybe like 1.9 you know if it breaks over this line I'm gonna stop out because uh, you know it went to like uh, here and pop back in it's like the the same thing we talk about in the webinar uh, with Austin like if it pops too much likely it won't hit my target right so there's no point for me to be in that trade so um, i just want to use it like a halfway i got in here uh stock couldn't bounce uh you know it was weak i added some more on the way down and quickly cover some i added some here as you can see the ad this is how you add to the winner right 
broke this support you guys just saw some add it back i mean if pops back here i'm gonna cover yeah i'm, I'm gonna be out of, of of the trade i think it was break even point was right here all right guys uh so i hope you enjoyed the video and um uh, uh and have a great weekend and um uh, i see you on the next one take care Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.